abort. I said a port. All right, Mr. Parker, I know what the skipper wants. Yes, and right for us. Steady as she goes, Christy. Full speed ahead, sir. Don't bother the skipper. He's got his hands full. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Keep going, Skipper. Keep going. A little more, Skipper. A little more. Hold me, hold me, hold me. Yeah, I got you. Look at him, look at him. Ow. Look at him. I see him. I see him. I got him, I got him. requisition some stuff from the main base that we need some beer and a case of shrimp and my chocolate now gentlemen i have had just about all i can stand you're in the way mr parker oh, pardon me <laughs> you know very well as executive officer that i'm to sign all requisitions oh sure mr parker and in a way you did what do you mean oh well we sign your name for you here's your copy <laughs> okay fuji let's get the rest of the stuff unloaded hop to it hop belay that fuji you're supposed to be on duty in the galley. Later, Parkinson. I'm very busy now. Spelled <laughs> Parker with a small P. <laughs> Hiya, Chuck. Isn't that a beauty? <laughs> That's the best one we got yet. Hanson Parker, request permission to speak to the commander, sir. Eh? What's the matter? You sick or something? No, sir. Request permission to... <clears throat> request permission to apply for transfer. Transfer? Ah, what's the gag, Chuck? <laughs> no gag, sir. I'm deadly earnest. Hey, well, what's bugging you, boy? Are you mad at me about something? Oh, no, gee, Skip. I couldn't be sore at you. Wow, wow. Well, <laughs> well it, it, it's the guys. It's the way they're treating me. Oh, what are you talking about? The boys love you. <laughs> Why, you know, they went through six senses before they found one they could buddy up to. Yeah, well, I know. I, I like them, too, but it's... Well, they just don't pay any attention to my orders anymore, and I've had all I can take. You know, even Fuji ignores me, and he's a prisoner of war. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't know what it's like. You've never been through it before. Whenever you give an order, boy, they hop to it. <laughs> well, I got a few pounds on them, too, buddy. That's <laughs> uh, more than that, though. It's your whole attitude. It's your whole tone of your voice. Boy, when you say... All right, General Quarters, hop to it, you swabs. Either shape up or ship out. Well, they know what you're really talking about. Hey, you know something? I, I think you just solved your own problem. Yes, sir. It's your voice. My voice? You know, with a bunch of mavericks like we got, you got to let them know who's top dog. When you bark out an order, make it loud and clear. Well, uh, I tried that, Skip, but my bark kind of has a Pekingese quality to it. <laughs> Change it. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, when I was a young fella, I used to be a soprano, believe it or not. Oh, you're kidding. Yes, sir. <laughs> when I was third mate on an old tramp freighter, I was getting exactly nowhere. And then I had my tonsils out. Well, suddenly, everything changed. My voice got lower, gutsier. Well, when I gave an order, well, half them swabs got so excited that nearly half of them went over the side. <laughs> you know, that might work, Skip. You know, I could be a regular Captain Bly. Oh. Captain Bly. No, no, it wouldn't work. I already had my tonsils out. Well, no, that's not what I mean, boy. Just lower your voice. Let it come from the belly. That's it. Like you did a minute ago. Come on, let me hear that uh, uh, general quarters again. Oh, hands general quarters. Oh, no, no. Lower, lower. Put some belly behind it, boy. Come on. All hands, General Quarters. Oh, Lord. All hands, General Quarters. Give it again. Oh. All hands, General Quarters. I'm sick. I'm sick, keep practicing, boy. <laughs> I guarantee you that you get more respect than Captain Bly ever got. Yes, sir. Now, keep practicing. Huh? 
All hands throw quarters. Hey, practicing. All hands throw quarters. That's it. Hey, practicing. All hands throw quarters. All Zero quarters. All right, you squad, move it out on the double and either shape up or ship out. You love that kind of talk. <laughs> but we didn't mean to hurt his feelings. We like Mr. Parker. Yeah. 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 You What's like Mr. Parker. Well, you jokers have got him so beat down that he's lost all confidence. And now we got to build him back up again. So now hear this. From now on, when Mr. Parker gives an order, I want you swaps to jump like it was Admiral Halsey. You hear me? And that's an order. Okay, Skip. Hey, break it up, man. Here he comes. Not yet, you ate balls. Wait till he comes in. <laughs> All right, you men, on your feet. Oh, it's you, sir. It sounded just like Commander McHale. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, men. Here are the orders of the day. <laughs> torpedo man, Gruber. Simon Haynes, clean and lubricate those torpedo tubes. Hi, sir. sir. Uh, Gunner's mate, Edwards. Sir. Uh, clean that ammo belt on the uh, forward machine gun. I'm sick and tired of firing that sloppy ammunition. Hi, sir. <laughs> All right, now, the rest of you men. Well, let's uh, clean up this place. Now, let's move it. Uh, stow all your uh, personal gear, and uh, let's sweep up this floor. Uh, deck. And uh, make up your beds. You're a prisoner. Uh, all right, men, one final order. I want you men either to ship up or shape out. Good job, Harvey. That is all. Oh, this is going to be murder. Ah, <laughs> oh, bless him. <laughs> Attention. And salute. Walk up ashore, sir. Uh, we'd have piped you over the side, but we don't have a pipe. What's the matter with your voice, Parker? Have you got a cold or are you bucking for the glee club? No, sir. Uh, this is my natural voice. Oh, it finally changed. Congratulations. <laughs> all right, Mikhail, what's the gag? The gag, sir? Yes, yeah, the gag. The men are all staying in attention. They have clean white uniforms on. Even you look like you shaved today. What's this all about? What, 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 what? Yeah, well, Captain, you're looking at a changed crew. Yes, sir. Uh, thanks to Anson Parker. <laughs> yes, sir. He whipped the men into shape and, and set an example. We're all proud to follow. Uh-huh. All right, you men, go play somewhere else. <laughs> Fun time is over now, Mikhail. Let's get down to business. As you know, the fleet has been plagued with a lot of bad torpedoes lately. Now, we've just received a new shipment, and for some strange reason, the Admiral has picked you to run a sample test on them. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm glad the Admiral shares your confidence in me, sir. Yes, sir. You cut that out, Mikhail. You know, if it was up to me, I'd have you sweeping mines with your bare hands. <laughs> We're going to have the test first thing in the morning. So you pick someone to go over to the base and get your torpedoes. I'll handle that personally, sir. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll ride over the base with you, sir. Real fireball, like eh, Captain? <laughs> now, remember, Mikhail, this is an official assignment. This is not a fishing trip. Why, a fishing trip, sir? Whatever do you mean? <laughs> show off. Uh, but, sir, we... I said show off. That's an order. All right, Mikhail, just remember, you foul this up and heads will roll. Guess who's? All right, then. <laughs> a zombie ever since the captain chewed him out yesterday. What a miserable break. Just when we had his confidence all built up, he had to go and dunk old Leadbottom. <laughs> but the 
do something for Mr. Parker. What? Well, we gotta build him up once and for all so he really feels like an officer. Wait a minute. I think I know just how to do it. I'm putting him in charge of that torpedo test run. Ain't you sticking your neck out, Skipper? Well, I figured I stuck my neck out for you guys so many times I feel like a giraffe. So? I can stretch you one more time for old Chuck. After all, he's one of us, isn't he? Oh, yeah, sure. Just one little thing, Skip. Yeah. How are you going to work it without him getting wise? Well, I'll tell you. Somehow I feel an attack of, um... Ooh, my old Berry Berry coming on. <laughs> hey, that's a great idea. <laughs> What's Berry Berry? <laughs> What's Berry Berry? What's Berry Berry? <laughs> what is Berry Berry? <laughs> Come on, Dr. Schweitzer, get out there and get a hold of Parker. We'll set everything up in here. Oh, come on, get going. Come on, let's go. Mr. Parker, sir, Mr. Parker! Come quick, it's the skipper. <laughs> Just getting our orders for the test run, and all of a sudden they passed out cold. You mean he's stoned? <laughs> yes, sir, he's really sick. Struck down by a mysterious ailment. <laughs> You ask me, it's Barry Berry. Oh, no. That's horrible. It's Barry Berry. Ask him. He's the one that's got it. Hey, Skip? Uh, Skip? Uh, uh, is that you, Chuck? Uh, yeah. Uh, you in pain, Skip? Anything I can do? Oh, no, thanks. Uh... It's one of these attacks. It comes and every so often. I'll be over in a day or so, but I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me, boy, and take over that torpedo test. Right. <sighs> me? Skip, the Admiral wanted you to do it. Oh, oh, no, no, it's just a matter of confidence, boy. The Admiral has confidence in me, and I have confidence in you. <sighs> really? Uh, I, I mean, okay, Skip, don't worry about a thing, Mom. A sick man here alone, though. Uh, Moss, uh, you stay here with the skipper, and uh, if he gets any worse, call the base hospital. All right, sir. All right. Don't worry about it, Skip. You can count on me. I, I you know I can. And uh, any questions, Chuck? Well, uh, just one, Skip. Uh... What's Barry Barry? <laughs> Sir, you've heard of double pneumonia? Well, this is double berry. You get a bad batch of berries. <laughs> uh, well, only one more to fire, uh, Skipper. And if I may say so, sir, the way you're running this test will bring nothing but credit to PT-73. Oh, well... <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Quartermaster. It's all a matter of routine. Uh, Groover, ready on a starboard tube. Loaded and ready, sir. Time for you set for 1,000 yards, as ordered. Check. Fire, starboard torpedo. Starboard torpedo fired, sir. I said fire. I did, sir. Oh, it's Toledo. It's a hot run. What's going on? A hot run. It's stuck in the tube, sir. Hey, you guys, give me a hand, will you? Hey, that thing could blow up any minute. All right, man, abandon. 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 Let's get out of here. <laughs> we can't leave the boat. Slow this boat down. Throw that life raft over to the side. Abandon ship. Production order. Hey, hold it. Hold it, you guys. Hey, that's funny. She should have blown by now. I got news for you. She ain't gonna blow. What? Yeah, it looks like she fizzled out. Well, I'm sorry, you guys. I guess I told you to abandon ship too soon. <clears throat> really goofed. Hey, she's pulling away from us. Let's man those oars. Faster, Ben, faster. Heave, heave. Hey, our engines are still going. We're losing it. Ah, oh, it's no use. We can't make it. Now I've gone and lost the boat. <laughs> Why don't you go fix some special chow? Uh, and the boys will be coming in pretty soon, and uh, we'll throw a party to celebrate Mr. Parker's moment of glory, huh? I fix. Jim. Hit the deck, Captain. Being able to come, boy, man. <laughs> Uh, 
Why, uh, Captain Binghamton, <laughs> whatever you're doing here, sir. Never mind what I'm doing here. What are you doing here? Uh, well, well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking for cufflinks, sir. Oh, yes, sir. No. <laughs> Mikhail, where is the PT-73? I've been trying to make radio contact with her all day. I can't raise her. Oh, uh, well, uh, I, I told Parker to maintain radio silence during the test, yes, sir. Parker? Mm -hmm. You put a nitwit like that in charge of an important mission like this and get up off the floor when I'm talking to you. Uh, yes, sir. What side are you on in this war, anyway? Well, now, now don't get all revved up, Captain. Uh, Parker will do the job just fine, sir. Yes, sir. He, he had to take over for me today, sir. I had a, another little old attack of uh, beriberi, yes, sir. It's a tropical disease, you know, sir. I know what beriberi is. Oh? You're going to be a lot sicker if anything goes wrong, Mikhail. I want those reports on my desk by 1,800 hours. Now, if you can't make it by 1,800, would you try and show up at 1,830? That's when we'll start the court-martial. And you can come with or without your cufflinks. Bye-bye, <laughs> Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Gee, Skip, you don't suppose anything could happen to Mr. Parker and all the guys, do you? No, 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 no. Chuck's got the law of averages on his side. <laughs> Things have got to get better for him. The war is over for you, Ensign. <laughs> Five thousand islands in the Pacific, and Mr. Parker had to pick this one to paddle to. Yeah, right into a nice, fat, juicy trap. Go ahead, Ensign. Go ahead, torture me. Do your fiendish worst. But you won't get anything out of me but my name, rank, and serial number. That's in accordance with the Geneva Convention. Article 17. Prisoner of war and treatment of. And I quote. Stop. I hear you said anything about torture. You haven't even given me a chance to ask a question yet. This is Charles Parker, United States Naval Reserve, serial number 106628. No, wait, no, wait. It's 82. Oh, there's a five or a three in there somewhere. Mr. Parker, please. I am willing to accept the fact that you are not trying to conceal your serial number. You just don't remember it. Well, that's ridiculous. I can remember it. It's, it's just I have a little trouble arranging it. You know, you are need those numbers. Give you a little tag on the, I lost mine. <laughs> Let me get a running start at it. 1066283. No. It, it's that five. I'm even a failure as a prisoner. <laughs> this guy should have been back long ago. Where in blazes are they? Suffering crawdad. What's the matter? You see something? Yes, sir, but I sure don't believe it. Well, let me take a look. Let me... Where, where, where? Right out there. Willie, what did you see? PT-73. And who was running it? Nobody. That's what I saw. Let's go. Gun up, there's your answer. They had a hot torpedo and they went over the side. Uh, they've got to be somewhere near the test area, Hanaoku. Yeah, we got to get them back before Binghamton finds out. Come on, let's go. Now, that's be reasonable, in there. Okay. I am not asking you to reveal any naval secret. I just... I got it! I got it! That's it! 106-6-2-2-3-5! My accident! <laughs> now, perhaps we can proceed. No, wait a minute. Hold it. No, darn. That's not it. You know, that's not my serial number. That's my social security number. <laughs> All right. Never mind. Never mind about your serial number. I think I got it. One, two, six, six, two, five, three, nine. Eight. Stop it! I demand you stop this nonsense and answer my questions! Say, uh, Lieutenant, do you mind a little word of advice? Don't let your voice break like that. See, you never get anywhere with your men. The voice of command comes from down here like that. <laughs> That's not bad, but a little lower, maybe. I am putting you and your men aboard my boat under guard until we finish here. Then I am taking you to a prisoner of war camp. 
Let somebody else question you. Boy, you're a good guy. Well, numbers. Did you find them? Yeah. The nips got them on board their boat. Captured? Yeah. Gee, we gotta do something, Skip. Yeah, I got an idea. But we'll need every foot of liner we got. Well, what are we gonna do? Not we, son. You. You're going for a swim. Underwater. Come on. Stand by this line, will you? Stand by this line. Check. Hey. Got you. Keep your fingers crossed, will you? Here we go, Willie. Glad to see us. Oh, sure, sure, Skip. It's well, it's just all my fault. We uh, got captured. I gave the order to abandon ship. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? You had a hot torpedo, didn't you? Well, the safety of your men always comes first. I'm proud of you. Yeah, but well, I could have. Come on, come on. Quit being so modest, boy. The whole crew will probably get a citation for this. You probably wind up with a medal. <laughs> a medal? Well, sure. For what? For what he says. <laughs> for discovering an enemy observation post and capturing a Japanese PT boat. That's ought to be pretty good for starters, huh? Hey, I never look at it that way. And if that ain't enough, you're the only officer in the United States Navy could get us to wear clean white sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Mr. Parker, if you'll put a prize crew aboard this PT boat, we'll proceed back to the base. Aye, aye, uh, sir. Uh, oh, belay that. Uh, men, I think we ought to finish the job. Let's go back and take some prisoners. That's my executive officer! <laughs> Back up. Well, McCann, let's see you wiggle out of this one. My plane has been waiting since 1,800 hours, and so is the Admiral. Now, where is Parker with that report? Well, he's coming right in, sir. <laughs> Captain, easy. That's Parker coming in, sir. Parker? That's right, sir. Come on. Ensign Parker reporting ashore, sure, sir. I turn this captured vessel over to you and hear the results of the torpedo test. <clears throat> Well, I see it, but I don't believe it. Do you mean to tell me that you captured a Japanese PT boat and its crew and its officer? Uh, it's nothing, sir. All right, let's move this. Get out of the stockade. Come on, man. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. Hey, four. Four. That's it. Hey, that's it. Four. One, oh, six, six, two, three, four. What, 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 what? Well, that's my serial number, sir. You nitwit. He's your prisoner. Oh, well, then forget it. All right, let's move on. Stop it. Oh, 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 oh. 